Welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer, and I'm so glad you've joined us today. Today is Thursday, May 4th. We're preparing for the fifth Sunday of Easter. Let's take a moment to quiet our hearts and minds as we begin our time of prayer together. Let's pray. Almighty God, your Son, Jesus Christ, is the way, the truth, and the life. Give us grace to love one another, to follow in the way of his commandments, and to share his risen life with all the world. For he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Now let's hear today's scripture reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 6. May the word of God speak to our hearts and minds. Now Stephen, full of grace and power, was performing great wonders and miraculous signs among the people. But some men from the synagogue of the freedmen, as it was called, both Cyrenians and Alexandrians, as well as some from Cilicia and the province of Asia, stood up and argued with Stephen. Yet they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they secretly instigated some men to say, We have heard this man speaking blasphemous words against Moses and God. They incited the people, the elders, and the experts in the law. Then they approached Stephen, seized him, and brought him before the council. They brought forward false witnesses who said, This man does not stop saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him saying that Jesus the Nazarene will destroy this place and change the customs that Moses handed down to us. All who were sitting in the council looked intently at Stephen and saw his face was like the face of an angel. Word of God. Word of life. Thanks be to God. Now, having heard God's word, let's lift up our concerns and thanksgivings to God, knowing that he hears and cares for us. I invite you to join me in prayer, either silently or out loud. Even though we may be far apart, we're united right now in prayer and in the presence of the Holy Spirit. So let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. 
on this day that the Lord has made. Let us pray for the people he has redeemed. That we may live as those who believe in the triumph of the cross. Lord, hear our prayer. That all people may receive the good news of his victory. Lord, hear our prayer. That those born to new life in the waters of baptism may know the power of his resurrection. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer pain and anguish may find healing and peace in the wounds of Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. that in the undying love of Christ, we may be united with all who have died in the faith of Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us commend the world in which Christ rose from the dead to the mercy and protection of God. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Daily Prayer. We hope this time has been a source of encouragement and inspiration for you. If you enjoyed this program, please share it with a friend or family member, and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. And if you're interested in supporting our ministry, you can make a donation at our website, goodshepherdlife.org. Remember, no matter what you may face today, God is with you, and you are loved. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.